Ladies and gentlemen, basketball fans across the great state of Arkansas, welcome to the most anticipated week of the basketball season. From the opening tip all the way through the quarterfinals, we're going to bring you some of the finest athletes the state of Arkansas has to offer as we bring you the 3A State Basketball Tournament live from Elkins High School. Tonight's game is being brought to you by D3 Auto Sales, Arkansas Tech University, Heirloom Legal Services, Tyson Foods, and by Petrus Farm and Grill. Network. We've got the next one going here. Second round action. Harding Academy. You're hearing your starting lineups right now. They're going to take on the Falk. Lady Panthers. It's going to be a good one, we think. In the starting lineups, like I said, for the for Harding Academy. That is Claire City, number three. Emery Wilson, number four. Number 13, Jama Akpanadu. Number 21, Chloe Fullerton. And number 40, Miley Harlow. Now we're fixing to get Falk here in just a moment. Okay, so there was Falk starters. That's number four, Bella Monroe getting a start. We also had Olivia Monroe. Number, she's number 11. Number 33, Nala Zatrine. Number 12 getting a start. That's Andy Palmer. And number 20, Connie Ross. What do we got? What's this music? I never heard this one here in the stadium, have y'all? No, they're mixing it up a little bit, huh? Mixing it up. I expected the Cotton Eye Joe to start this one out, but uh, what? Oh, <laughs> I, I haven't heard this one at all. No, me neither. I, I, don't, I don't know, know what it is. is personally. It's nice. I Here we go. Harding Academy in the backcourt. That's Claire City with it. Working against the top of the defense of Falk. Looks like a 2-3 early, early on. Had to come way out on the backside to close off that three-point shot from Emory Wilson. Rebound comes away to Zatrine. She has it. In transition, oh, that wasn't Zatrine, that was 20, Connie Ross, and she traveled 
Shuffled the feet before she took off that time. Jama with the ball. She gets it to Fullerton. Guard play in this game is going to be important for Harding Academy. We're going to have a bunch of uh, Lady Panthers coming at them. They're going to do a lot of platoon subbing. They're going to come at them in waves, and they're going to try to keep the intensity at a high pace here, try to wear them out. Harlow back to Fullerton. Fullerton spin move, gets inside the lane just a hair, kicks it back up to Harlow. Now City, shot clock down to seven. Claire had a big first game in this one. This tournament, now Fullerton, one on the clock. She gets it up. It's no good. Zatrine with the rebound. Here comes Nayla. She'll give it off. Connie Ross with it now in the corner. They'll bring it back up top. Picks up the dribble, and we got another travel. That's This time it was on Andy Palmer. There's a bunch of subs already. See number one in there, Paige Attaway. You got number 13 in the game now. Get her name for you in a moment. Claire City gets a bucket. Three out of the corner, Laney Richardson for three. Harding gets it up to the front court. That is Jama. She gets it over to Claire City. Fullerton getting picked up way out. She's going to drive, dump it off to Harlow. Harlow out to Wilson for three. It's good. Emery Wilson off a really good ball movement that time by the Lady Wildcats. Here come the Lady Panthers in the lane. That's number 14. Little front runner won't go. That was Kennedy. I'm sorry, Kendall Hayworth. And here comes Jama, and that pass come out of off the baseline. Split everybody for Falcon out of bounds. Going to go back to the Lady Panthers, and here come the five. Most of the starters, I believe, that's the same group coming back in. So they come in for. About a minute of game time, a minute and a half maybe, and right back out. Connie Ross with it. Dump it down. Zatrine with good positioning. And she gets a bucket. Five to five now. Here comes a lot of pressure. We got a foul call, though. It's going to be on, I believe, Andy Palmer. And let me look up number 13, a name I didn't get for you. Fullerton picks her dribble up. She's trapped. Tough pass to Jama. She steps on the baseline trying to save it. And that's that pressure defense from Falk turning them over. Number 13, Mallory Scoggins. And I just wrote it down. I wrote it down as number three. I apologize. Ball deflected. Fullerton came away with it. Still five up. Up ahead, Emery, can she run it down? She has to save it in. She does. Claire City's long arms able to corral it. Fullerton working against the top of the defense here. Down low to Harlow, back out. Jama takes that three. It's going to be a little far. I could tell it was wide right. I thought it was going to hit the board, but it got the back of the iron. Harlow with an offensive rebound, and Claire City's three is no good. And then Fullerton comes in and gets a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to go back to Falk. Here comes five more. 23 in the game. Laney Richardson. Number one, that was Attaway with it. Working against this press here from Harding Academy. Now get it over the top. Hayworth with the ball. She picks her dribble up on the wing and sends it back up top. Now she's got it again. Post entry. That's that freshman. Smith, that was really impressive the other night. Kinley Smith, she loses it, though. Good defense from Harding Academy that time. Still 5-5. They skip it down to the wing. Now, Mal uh, Miley gives it out to Claire. Claire gets by her woman on the baseline, and with the right hand, she finishes. She's got four. 
7-5, Hardy Academy lean, almost thrown away in the backcourt. Jama making that a tough pass, but they get it up ahead. That's number 13. And Smith gets a three. 6-1, and she can stretch the defense. Jama to Fullerton, Fullerton dumps it down to Harlow, and there's a foul from behind on the court on Smith, first on her. Number 13 in the game is Scoggins. Number three is Emily Cross. Cross is a sophomore, five foot seven. They got to take it to the backcourt. It's a one point lead after that three made by Kinley Smith. Smith, just a sophomore, six foot one. Really fun to watch. Harlow out of the high post to Jama on the wing. Plenty of time on a shot clock. It's about 18 now. Fullerton working at the top. She's trying to drive. Has to give it back to Jama. Back to her. Shot clock's now under 10 at 9. 8 on the clock. Emery Wilson for 3. No good. Jama saves it. Well, they'll say she stepped out. Good attempt, but not enough this time. Got Paige Attaway is a senior. Mallory Scoggins is a senior as well. Falk moving it around, dumping it down. Zatrine, she's been a problem. Every time she gets it down there, she comes away with a bucket. Get, she gets it that low inside the block. Knows what to do with it. Jama on the drive. No good, Harlow with the rebound. She tries to get it out to City. She will. City for three. Not this time. And Harlow gets another rebound. She's working hard tonight. Miley bringing it. Kick out. Jama, three out of the corner. It's going to hit the top of the board. Falk with the ball. And there's a loose ball back to Jama. Letting him go a little bit. Jama on the drive. Dumps it off to Harlow. Block from Muhammad. There's a foul on Zatrine. Harlow to the line. Her first free throw, no good. Here comes five more for Falk. Harlow can't hit either one of them. Hayward for three, it's no good. There's Smith with the rebound, back up, no good. Gets her own put back, in, in, and one. Kinley Smith with another opportunity. Yeah, it's been that way all day. And one attempt is long this time. Here comes Harding Academy. Jama pushing the pace. Gets it up to Fullerton. She'll back out of there now. She's going to find Wilson, who was cutting from the top. It's knocked loose out of bounds. They'll say it's still with Harding Academy. Jama with it. Back up to Fullerton. 15 on the shot clock. Back out to Jama. Jama now is going to drive in a little bit. Give it off to Wilson. Wilson denied. So she's trying to get it to Fullerton. And then they lose it out. It's going to go back to Harding Academy. That one was a good denial by Laney Richardson. And then as soon as they get in the groove, they go back out to sit down. Here comes five more for Falcon. We've got a few more new ones in there. 25 in the game. Let me pull her name up for you. That is... Lena Latham, a 5'10 freshman. They are going deep in this one. Moreau 
back in there. Zatrine's in. Bella Monroe in, number four, a junior. And out on the ball right there was number 20. But she didn't get there in time. That was Connie Ross. Big three for Claire City. Her first three made. 12-10. Drive, kick out. Three ball is way short. City with the rebound. She's got Fullerton streaking down the side. The train gets back. Claire City tries to go up under, a little out of control, but Fullerton gets the long rebound. <coughs> Jama back to Fullerton. She's working against Lena Latham. Latham gets screened by Crimson Fager, who's in the game for Harding. Now Fullerton sets a screen. She's working around this perimeter here. Shot clock's at seven. Fullerton, City, can she get back-to-back threes? Not this time. And Latham gets the rebound. Here they go. Into the corner, back up on the wing now. Latham with it, puts it on the deck, kicks it back in the corner, stolen away by Clara City. It's a two on four in Falk's favor. Now Fullerton, secondary transition, no good on that three. Ran down by Lena Latham, the freshman. And that's going to be the end of the first period. It's 12 for Falk, 10 for Harding Academy. We've got a good one. We'll come back. We'll be right back after this. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but there's power in the process. We value this moment because at ATU, every moment brings you one step closer to what comes next. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now, because our focus is on your success. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desar. We're back here at the 3A State Tournament presented by Centennial Bank for the AAA. We've got a good one, a two-point game as we get into the second period here between, between Harding Academy and the Falk Lady Panthers. There's a denial. They're tired of all that dribble drive handoff or that little dribble handoffs on the perimeter was number 14, Hayworth. She gets fouled and she's going to shoot two to start the second period. Kind of got the pattern down that time. She saw her opportunity to gamble that time, and it paid off for her. A burst of speed as well down the court. First free throw won't fall for Kendall Hayworth. Second one is up and good. Skip pass by Fullerton and Wilson. She's looking at Harlow. Tough entry. Harlow goes up and gets it. Back out to Emery. Emery. Little spin move. Now Claire City with it between the leg dribble. She's working against Attaway. Wants to go one-on-one -on -one with her, but they'll give it off. Wilson back to Harlow. Back to Emery. Got to get going here. Seven on the shot clock. We got a foul, and Wilson's going to shoot two. First free throw, no good. Second one is in and out. And finally, foul, missed the rebound. Well, neither team shooting very well from free throws, but there's a steal by Harding Academy as City corrals it. 
She's got it, gets it up to Fullerton. Chloe looking to drop, picks her dribble up, finds Harlow, eight footer, no good. Now we got a jump ball, what do we get? We get a foul, got a jump. No, yeah, we did get a foul on Harlow. And that's the second on Harlow. That's pretty big. She's got a lot of length to deal with Zatrine and Smith for Falk. Twelve in the game. That's Andy Palmer. She's going to inbound. Sophomore for the Lady Panthers. She got it to Moreau. And here they go. Morrow with it in the paint. Going to put it up. No good. Wilson with the rebound. Hardy Academy. Staying right here with these Falk Lady Panthers who are undefeated. I believe we got them, what, 36 and 0 now? Yes, they were that's 35 right. 35 0 before their first round, so 36 and 0. Hardy Academy, like I've been saying for weeks now, for about three weeks, they are playing their best ball. They've really been on fire through districts, regional, and now in a state tournament. Eight on the shot clock. Falk is really making it tough on Harding Academy. Every time we're, we're getting the shot clock way down. Three, they got to get one off. Jama's going to force one too long, and that's a violation. Say she didn't clearly have it when the buzzer went off. Yeah, and that shot clock, that shot clock bell is real kind of soft. Yes, so when it that is. crowd gets up, you cannot hear it up here. Yes, it is, for sure. They got to get across. They're down uh, 28. Got to get over there by 25, 26. Had one second to spare. Connie Ross gives it off. Moreau, Morrow. Down in the corner, picked up the dribble, trying to get the post as Zatrine. She throws it in off of Harding Academy, Lady Wildcat. And then we get a jump ball with Ross and Claire City. Nope, got a foul. They're going to call that on number 21, or number 11, Moreau. Foul, full court pressure. Here they come. You got Smith coming in. You've got. Lanny Richardson, Hayworth coming back in, had a big steal early in this period. 13's out there, that's Scoggins. Over the top, out of way in as well. Fullerton driving, gonna pull right up in front of Smith, can't get it to go, and Smith will run the rebound down, and Fullerton will be, Fullerton will be charged with the foul. Three point game, Falk has the possession. Full court press here from Harding Academy. Attaway with it. Trying to slow him down and speed him up at the same time. They get across with plenty to spare on the clock that time. Attaway puts it on the deck. Little push off. Kick up top. Three pointer. Took that as soon as she got the ball into her hand. She immediately went forward. That was Richardson. Wouldn't fall. Long rebound. Good job running it down was Scoggins. Attaway back over to Scoggins, swinging around the perimeter. Got a new shot clock a minute ago, and there's Fullerton with a steal. She's got Jama with her. She's going to go against the 6'1 sophomore. She's going to win this time. Chloe Fullerton for two. That's the first two in the second period for Harding Academy. And there's a steal by Jama and Fullerton. They miss it, and then they get another foul, 94 feet from the basket. Fullerton did it a minute ago. Jama does it this time. That's two cheap fouls. And eventually he's going to put Falk on the line more than likely. You don't, you know, I know you're aggressive. You want to get that foul, but it's a little bit of frustration when you miss a shot. Falk gets it up ahead. Ball batted away. Two, three defense from Harding Academy in the half court. Got a open Richardson on the wing. That three's long. City deflects it. It'll stay with foul. I'm trying to think of things to say. I'm trying to help you out, but I, got, I, got, I ain't got much right now. I'm Doing trying a to get producing the, right now. Well, I'm trying to flow, get in the flow of the game here a little bit. Yeah, just got back over here and producing for us. Giving Nate a break. Doing a great job today on the production. He's had his hands full a little bit. Just a one point game here. 
Get it in on the wing, moving it around. There's a nice little dump off to Zatrine. Good job, Connie Ross finding Zatrine. Every time Zatrine gets the ball in her hands, gets a good hold of that ball when she's that low. She's scored today. She's wide open too. That's a tough pass. Able to see it. That was 23 in the game. Mackenzie Bird, the sophomore. A little overzealous on that play yeah. after the turnover. A little bit Just of a frustration oh, foul. Harding Academy ball. That's the second time we've seen that today. What's that? When they're trying to give it to the other team, the inbound. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> May be able to steal one one of these times. Right. Can you imagine? Somebody's not paying attention. <laughs> Fiona Davis. I was writing her name down as one that might come in here for them. Meanwhile, Claire City come flying through there, and they got an open look. It wouldn't go. Got number two in the game, Emma Floyd. Floyd's a sophomore. Fager going to get charged with a travel. Crimson Fager played so good in the regional victory for them against Dover to move into the championship game. She, she had like nine points in the third period alone. If you remember. <laughs> Meanwhile, big three for number 12, Andy Palmer. That's the third made three. For Falk, and they're up 18-12. Fullerton breaks the press, and the Wolf comes and knocks it out. The Wolf looks like a Lady Panther, don't you? That's it, the Panther today, right? It's going to stay with Harding, though. And they're going to get uh, a couple subs in. Emery Wilson comes back in. I think that was Clear City coming back off the bench. 36-0, man. What a... What a season it's been for these foul Lady Panthers so far. Clear City for three on the wing. It's way right and long. Fager saves it, and good job, City, to Jamin. Jamin better get out of there. A lot of heights came in on her, and Wilson wide open three. It's the end. And Marie Wilson had a three in the first period. She gets another one there, having herself a good ball game. It's 18-15, having herself a good tournament as well. Here we got some more coming in. Only four coming that time? Wow, they're going to leave Smith <laughs> in. I can't believe it. You got Hayworth back in. You got Connie Ross. No, that's Laney Richardson, number 23, and Attaway, number one. And they're fixing to give the ball off. Well, they went back the other way. I think that's number 11 in there. Mar Morrow, she's got it now. No, that's 13. That's Scoggins. Skip pass. Laney Richardson, no good on the three. Good look that time. She's one they like to get the ball to, get three-point shots off. Had a chance to put them up six. It's going to stay three, and then Claire City throws it right away, and that's Richardson playing defense after she missed that three. Got to get across the timeline, three seconds to spare. Richardson has it. She's going to find Hathaway, Hathaway underneath. Hayworth, I should say. Oh, I'm sorry. Hayworth, the big bucket. Too many names in this game. There's Richardson up ahead. Scoggins back to her wide open three. It's good. They're scoring in bunches right now. Richardson with two threes, one in each period. 2-2-1 two, two, press. They get it up. They beat it this time. That's number two, uh, Emma Floyd. It's knocked out of bounds. We've got a foul, foul. though. Yep. He, you can see Fouch's plan is working right now, speeding up Harding Academy, making them play faster than they want to. I mean, this is so similar to the way the Razorbacks used to play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? And we got platoon subs coming in again. I think well, all five coming out this time. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. You probably already said that, haven't you? No, I didn't use that one. Well, 
that one, uh, that one definitely, definitely could work in, into the uh, Lady Panthers' advantage right now. Good free throw shots there from Emma Floyd. We got a travel, a turnover. Harding Academy's press has been a problem too today. Both these teams pressing each other. They're right there with them. At, you know, they scored two to get back there. They had a nine-point deficit, the biggest we'd seen. But they got the ball back now. Let's see if they can come down and cut into this gap right here before half and keep this thing close. There's Fullerton having to work hard just to get across the timeline. She's trapped. That's tough. Jama with athleticism goes up and gets it. Harlow right under the goal. Nobody was there. She didn't know. But, hey, she knew what she was doing. She's feeding that girl, Emery Wilson, for her third made three today. Cuts it to four. Got a timeout. Head coach Mo Williams wants to talk about it. We'll take a little break. We'll be back in about 30 seconds. D3 in auto life, sales and desert. Things aren't scripted. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer athlete, Award and Top Five Dealer in the Nation like by the you NIA. We need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. We're back here and we're coming back 23-19. Floyd missed one of those free throws a minute ago. I've been told there, so I'll get that right for you. And we are aware the score is off. We'll get it corrected. 23-19, foul with the ball. Trying to get into the teeth of the defense. It's loose. Connie Ross having trouble. Now down. That was Latham they're trying to get it to. Still going to stay in with foul. 12 on the shot clock, though. Morrow to inbound. She gets it in. It's ooh, on the court. They won't count it. Paige Attaway. She took off that, a little burst of speed. Nice little play there. She didn't uh, get it to convert or wasn't able to convert it because they called it on the floor. Hey, it's five fouls, though, so she'll shoot two. That's anyways. right. Would have been nice to have an and one for her, but foul was before the shot. Shot a little long on the free throw. It's got a little bit of a Larry Bird release. <laughs> Did you see that? I watch didn't. it. Watch I'll, it. I'll watch it. One. Tell me if you concur. It's on the shoulder a little bit, I'm talking about. Now, he brought it behind his head a little bit, too, yeah, on the right side. As long as you get it in line, you'll be all right. On that release, you know, mm -hmm. in that pocket. Yep. Deflected. I had a little bit of that when I was younger, because trying to shoot three-pointers, you know, getting the strength up. Yeah. And then I had to kind of – I personally had to fix it, but I actually probably shot better when I had it the other way. Sometimes I kind of switch back over in the middle of a game. You know how that works. Yeah. Henry Wilson, extended free throw shot is no good, and here comes Falk. 23-19, runner 30 to play here in the first half. 25 on the clock now. Attaway with it. Inside. Kick out by Latham. There's Hayworth. Her three's no good. Harding County with a rebound. They got to go. Ten on the clock. Emery Wilson in the front court. She's going to skip it over to Fullerton. Back to Jama. Open three. In and out. Jama gets a rebound. Back up and in through, through a bunch of contact. One of the smaller girls out there gets it up over a couple of the bigs there for the Lady Panthers. And she gets it to go to cut it to two right at the break. Harding Academy, this team is pesky, and they just won't go away. What do we got going on? Oh, okay. We're going to get head coach down yeah, here. Yep, thanks. Good to see you, bro. Head coach for Falk, and we are ready for you right now. 
All right, Mo. We gotta ask a question from everybody's mom. Where did style come from with the, the uh, subbing in and out? Uh, really, it just came from just you know not having the uh, talent that a lot of people around the state have, and so we utilize our depth and play at full speed, and hopefully that helps us to keep up with some more talented players. So you know, that's right. why that's why it originated. Absolutely. And what does that what does that allow you as a coach? Does that give you some breathing room? Does, does that give you an advantage over any another team? Uh, it does most nights. It's not right now. We gotta we got too many turns. Turnovers and they don't have enough, so I think turnovers are 11 to four, and uh, we're getting out rebounded, so we got to go fix that right now. So. All right, brother. We'll see you, man. Brad, back to you. All right, thank you, Allen. And um, yeah, I mean, it, he's talking about how it helps them to kind of overcome when they don't have the athletes that some places have. But right now, this team he's got right here, I think he could play just six, seven players, and they'd be all right. There's a lot of talent on this foul team. But they're going to come at you in waves, even with the, the talent they've got running out there onto the court for the Lady Panthers. We're going to take a quick break. Let, let's go ahead and do the what locals do? real quick. Yeah, let's get the locals in again yeah. here. Now, Falk. We've got several that have come in here. Sarah Berry, CPA, PLLC, Certified Public Accountants. Appreciate them. Jerry's General Store open seven days a week. Gas, groceries, hardware, 870-653-4621. Slumber and Company, appreciate them. And then we got Spring Bank Landing. And then, uh, yes, sir. And then we've also got uh, special thanks as well to Roy's Pawn Shop in Texarkana, 870-773-1782. You guys, uh, if you don't know, we we sell to different uh, levels and uh, uh, Roy's Pawn Shop came in at a silver level. We appreciate their sponsorship and as well as everybody else's. And uh, that's been a big help to us throughout the tournament. Can't say enough about that. Then, all right, that's it. That's it. We appreciate so. them. We'll get to, let's get to a break. We'll come back. We'll give you the halftime totals, halftime stats. And we're also going to hear from head coach Rusty Garner coming back out from half. We'll, we'll take a break. We'll come back and get you to. To the rest of our halftime show, that's the Stone County Propane and Gas Company yeah. halftime show. I chose a car that would be safe for our family. And when it comes to our financial future, I don't take any chances there either. That's why we bank with Centennial. They give me everything I could want in a bank, from the latest technology to great service. But the biggest thing they give me is confidence. So in a time when there's plenty of things to worry about, my money isn't one of them. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. To help me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful.
Get ready. Get that camera ready. Get that camera ready. Allen's coming out. Missed six free throws already, and we missed 12 threes, and probably 10 of those were pretty good looks. So we got, we're going to have to, I mean, they're going to make you make some shots. I like a lot of the shots we've gotten. We probably need our shot selection. got to get a little better. Uh, we got to knock down a couple of those, but really, I mean, it's a, it's a, about just what they're trying to wear you down. You kind of got to keep, keep answering, keep answering, and then see if, you can, see if you can take it away from them at the end. Absolutely. So adjustment here in the second half, what's something that you might try here in the second half to take them out of their game? Well, we, we've got to get the ball in the paint a little more off the drive or off the post entry just to open up uh, some of the looks we're getting. And we got to be, we got to be able to turn the corner uh, on, the, on the bounce a little bit better, figure out that they, they're switching screens and switching handoffs. We haven't. We didn't really handle that well, but I think, I think we'll handle that better in the second half. Best luck to you, Coach. Back to you, Brad. All right, Brad. It's good information there from Coach Rusty Garner. Said, uh, and I know what he's talking about, is they're doing a little dribble drive handoffs, a little weave action. You've seen uh, Hayworth jump in there and take one the length of the court, got fouled, went to the free throw strap. Switching on the screens and they're they're kind of getting out on you right there and making you extend. Got to work on that better. Get in the paint, dump the ball off. So they just got to keep answering, keep going back and forth with them. Well, I, I feel like he probably feels pretty good about his team right here. Just a really good foul team. You know, they're it's 23-21, two point game. They played a great first half. Both teams did. We're going to yep. take a little break. Uh, Brad, you got something to add to that? Well, I was just going to say, you know, this is two really good teams playing each other. We felt like that this would be what it would be right now. You know, you wonder as time goes on, does the pressure of being undefeated kind of add yeah. up in a close games? Of course, you know, they played close games in the regional. We talked to Matt Hall about that with CAC last night, you know, and he was talking about how, you know, they played so good all year, 120 straight. Then they lost to Lamar in the district championship, and you never want to lose and get a worse seeding, but that was the best time to lose if you're going to lose. And Falk never went through that. You know, they haven't had that exact same adversity. They might be playing better if they went through that. Now, some teams don't handle it that way. Some teams kind of just kind of, you know, go into a slump after that. So there they are what they are. They've won 36 straight. You know, they're not going to go out and try to lose. They've been able to get it done. They're in a position here with a two-point lead to ratchet it up the pressure a little bit and see what they can do and see if they can stay with that goose egg beside their name. Yep, yes, sir. I mean, it's it's a special thing to be able to go undefeated through a season, but it is pressure packed for uh -oh. sure. I thought we had a streaker for a second, but no, <laughs> just a Elkins help here coming to get the ball right. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I thought somebody put a bet on it, you know, like in Vegas. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? That'd be crazy. Yeah, let's just hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> right? All right, here we go. Don't get them on camera. <laughs> yeah, right? We can't blur it out, you know, not in live time. Zatrine, I'm telling you, keep feeding her. You're going you're gonna to do good things. She's been money down low. And there's a steal. The foul pressure. Can they get the points? That was Connie Ross on the first one. And then number 12 got a, got a putback attempt. She gets fouled, so she'll shoot two, I believe. Andy Palmer. It was, uh, yep, Connie Ross on the first one. Big steal. First free throw, no good for Palmer. She's got a made three in the second period, nothing else. 0-1 at the stripe now. Second one goes off front iron, and Harding Academy with the rebound. Games like these, free throws matter. We'll see how these add up at the end of the day. Clear City, Zatrine deflected that when she tried to dump it off to Harlow. Falk right back at him. It's a good start for Falk. It's a 2-0 run to begin. Clear City, I think, going to get charged with a foul. She's trying to get in there and get a jump ball called. Actually, the foul was on foul there. Harding Academy's ball. Okay, so did they, that was an offensive? I'm, I don't know what happened there. Falk had the ball. She was fighting for it, and then they called a foul, stopped the clock, and then Harding inbounded. Who got the timeout there? 
And I didn't see it. I apologize. I saw 30 seconds. We'll just stay. We'll just keep it here. A foul was charged to. I, I, I'm confused because <laughs> it's got 21 up there, which is Fullerton. Yeah. But Hardy Academy just inbounded it. Did they make a mistake? I'm not sure. I, I was trying to fix the clock. Okay, so we got timeout. There we go. That'll get it right. Fullerton gets it to Jama. There's a steal. Connie Ross on the drive. Floater, too strong. Jama with it. She's getting hounded. She loses it. They're going to say that it was touched by number 12 back from Harding Academy. He pointed that way, did he not? Did they change it? Okay. I guess yeah, he pointed I, towards. Yeah, I was about to say, I can't foul. see it at all there, you know. I, in fact, I can't even see him. I'm seeing him on the mount monitor right now. Inbounded. Ross for three. Not this time. Harlow taps it out. Jama tries to run it down. It'll be Harding Academy ball this time as they saved it, but it was out of bounds. So still only two points after all that action. A lot of shots been taken. Nope, nobody's hitting real high level here. Start the second half. Hardy Academy <laughs> having all kinds of trouble getting across this timeline. There they go. Had about three seconds to spare and then stolen away right after that and Jama gets it right back. Claire City with the ball, working against Richardson. Now Fullerton. She's got Scoggins out on her. Fullerton driving, left hand finish, no good. Smith eventually with the rebound. Both of these teams really like to come in from behind and, and get some steals. Moving around the perimeter. Out of way, deflected by Jama. She's going to come out of there with it, showing off that soccer speed. Fullerton's wide open. She'll get the end one instead. Jama. Akabinodo. <laughs> I missed that one up bad. Too quick. They laugh. Even the coach and them have trouble saying it. But uh, I have to. I had to slow down on that one. Akabinodo. There she goes. Shot no good. Harlow with the offensive board. Oh my! This could be a five-point possession. Still loose. Three units no good, and Attaway has it, and there they turn it right back over. Oh, Jama misses the layup. Lenny Richardson gets it up ahead. Scoggins pushing it. Smith loses it right back to Harding, and we got a foul as City runs into Smith. It's going to be Falk ball. They're going to inbound on the baseline from the S and Elkins. That's Attaway. Second foul on Claire City. She's got to be careful. There's a tough play as Jama gets knocked down. And Harding Academy comes away with it. Up to Jama, and she's fouled by Connie Ross. Been a lot of contact in this one. That was a second foul on Connie Ross. Both teams have two fouls apiece in this second half here. Harding has it, dumps it in the corner. Wilson for three. That'll be your fourth. If it would go, it won't. Smith with the rebound, but they got to look out. Harding Academy always trying to come pick your pocket. Hayworth picks up her dribble. Now Ross for three. She thought she got fouled. Shot's no good. Harding Academy out in transition. Fullerton. Jama open three. Short. Jama follows it up. She's fouled. Foul on Smith this time. Trying to go back and see that play we were talking about where we got confused. Not sure what happened. I think it was right before that timeout.
Inbound to Claire City. She's looking at Harlow. a train frontner, and she's got Ross on the backside denying that entrance. Fullerton down to Jama. Jama looking inside to the post again. Shot clock's down to 16. She gets bumped by Ross, and that's on Ross. It's her third. Third team foul, fourth team foul. Fourth team foul and a third on Ross and 11. Olivia Morrow will check in. Claire City, and there's Zatrine to flex it right to Morrow that checked in. Hayworth, nice, nice job getting it to Zatrine. Her shot's long though, but they're gonna keep it off the out of bounds. Let's see if I can help you for the rest of the game. Wouldn't that be nice? It'd be nice. I'm still going back <laughs> trying to see what happened on that foul. So Laney Richardson in the corner, Fullerton on her. Richardson tied with was tied with Zatrine at halftime for the lead with six points for her team. Zatrine has eight now. Richardson trying to make it nine. She can't. Fullerton runs it down. Jama up ahead. Get it up to her. She had everybody beat. Can she get the layup? Not this time. Too much length there from Falk. But Claire City for three. It's off. Jama and Falk fighting for it. It's going to be Harding Academy ball. That was number four down there. Bella Monroe trying to get that ball. Not a high scoring ball game right now at 25-23. Feels like, maybe I'm wrong when I say this, but it feels like it's to Harding Academy's advantage just because of the style of play that Falk plays. Yep. Not getting out and running as much as they'd like. Not getting enough steals. Fullerton, runner is good from the free throw stripe. And I'm telling you, man, I've been talking about it. This Harding Academy team, sometimes you look at them and you're like, yeah, they're okay. You know, they're not, they just don't jump off the page at you and they keep yeah. winning. And yeah. they're winning at the right time. And they've tied it up 25 all. Let's take a break. We'll be back. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but there's power in the process. We value this moment because at ATU, every moment brings you one step closer to what comes next. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. All right, we're back here and it is 25 all. Let's quickly throw that local sponsorship up. Nope, no, not that one. For Falk, as you see there, go ahead and read those off here closer. You can see them. Sarah Berry CPA LLC, Jerry's General Store, uh, Spring Bank Landing, the Slumber Company, and then we've also got Roy's Pawn Shop in Texarkana. Falk with the ball. Attaway has it across the timeline. Harding fans thought she walked. And then they'll get a double dribble, though. She was starting to get double and trying to pass it into the corner. Okay, there's a loose ball. Falk has it, and it's taken away by Claire City. And now we've got a foul. They're gonna, who we get? It's on Falk. And it's the, we still haven't put it up there. It's the first on Laney Richardson. The Falk fans letting them have it. They don't like the way it's being called right now. Claire City at the line can give Harding Academy a lead. Not on the first one, that one too strong. So watch this play, we're looking back at it. Here, let me rewind it for you. Falk has the ball, they come into the half court. She's trapped, she's fighting for it. They, call, they blow the whistle, they call a foul on Harding Academy. Harding Academy's gonna inbound, watch. I hope. City gets the second one. Get back out. That is, is that not crazy? I thought I'm not losing my mind here. I mean, it couldn't have been a foul and foul, right? 
it could because uh, I don't think it was. There's a missed shot there. They get it up in the front court. There's Fullerton. Wrap around. Jama gets it up to Wilson. She's made three. In and out. Man, that was close. The train cleans up the rebound for Falk. Laney picks up the rebound, uh, the dribble. That's you can't do that against Harding Academy in the backcourt. Fullerton, too quick, too smart. She gets two points. More trouble here for Falk. They finally get across the timeline. Had about two seconds to spare that time. Zatreen, Faker on her, back out top. Falk's got to get into an offensive flow here. Everything they're getting right now, mostly off a of transition. They, I, I would like to see Zatreen down on the block. Faker just, there's a big three. Twenty-eight all, and there's Claire City on the drive. No good. Knocked out of bounds. We'll say Harding hit it last. It's a big three for Bella Monroe a moment ago. That's her first points in the game. Tied this thing back up. Wilson has it. There's Fullerton wide open on the free throw strop. Back iron no good. So Treen fighting for it. Fager going to win it. And then she's fouled by Connie Ross. I think it'll be her fourth if so. Mm. It could be on Zatreen. Let's see the official call. It's the fourth oh, on Connie Ross. He's one of their typical starters, which they kind of play a lot. So you can't, you know, we kind of got ten starters on this team in a way. I feel like Connie Ross gets a lot of minutes, though. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of size and length to her. She is a senior on this squad. That's going to hurt. She's going to have to sit down for a while into the fourth period. Fager, no good on that first one. Second attempt is good that time. A lot better look on that one. Get it up in the front court, pick up the dribble, back up to Hayworth. Palmer, she gets it to Moreau. Scoggins with it, reversing it. I'm telling you this. There's a train. That's what they got to do. Great move. Every there. time she gets it down there like that, she can get that thing squared up. Yep. She's scoring. She's going over the top, using the length. Really good offense by Falcon. That end. Uh, really good. They offense. lose it in transition. Wide open three from Mackenzie Bird. It's always really good offense when you can hit a three, right? That's right. 32-30. They break the press this time and then cut off. It's going to call a foul. But no, he's just going to say out of bounds. This has been a crazy game. <laughs> Both fan bases upset. Both of them are mad. That's why, you know, you talked about, you suggested that we, one of us call really buys for one team and one of the other. That's, that's why you don't right there because, <laughs> because nobody will be satisfied at the end of the day. Yeah. Olivia Moreau got it in, or actually Fullerton has it. And Fullerton gets it taken away. There's Scoggins, Hayworth. She finishes through some contact through City. Big play there for Foul. Yeah, Hayworth with five now. I think she plays a lot of Connie Ross's minutes. Goodness gracious. Shot no good, out of bounds off of Citrine. Uh -huh. City drove all the way through that press by yeah. herself, got to the rack and just couldn't get it to fall. Claire City is just a sophomore for Harding Academy. I've shouted her praises for a few weeks now. She's a really good one. Here comes Harlow, Wilson, and Jama. All three starters back in. Good work that time from Fager. Emma Floyd and Fiona Davis. That was actually Mackenzie Bird, 23. Give it off. Fullerton, runner, good. Nice. Chloe Fullerton heating up. She had two points at the half. She's got eight now, six in this period. All plays like you just saw. Atworth, out of way, I should say. Now, Laney Richardson, she's got two made threes. They need to get her going again. That ball is deflected by Harlow. 
Hayworth almost took it back. Here comes Harding Academy up two, 20 seconds left in the third. Fullerton wanting to drop, baseline. Bullet pass that time. No good by Claire City, little jumper. Picks up the dribble, they gotta get across. Six on the clock. Richardson. Attaway, gotta get it off, she will. It'll count if it goes, not this time. 34, 32, Harding Academy. With the fantastic third period. They have a, they reversed it, they were down two, now they're up to four point swing. We'll take a break, we'll be back. Eight minutes left in this one. Time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501 819 2553 and walk ins are welcome. As you see, our Petrus Farm and Grill seasoning there. One of those were taken out. Somebody had, got, got, had to go grill something. There you go. Wasn't me, but I think I know who it was. <laughs> I, I actually gave one away. He, he brought it back. <laughs> All right. We're on to the last eight minutes here. It is a two-point lead for Harding Academy. Fullerton got downhill in that second period, that third period there was six points. There's the train. She's Good a little action. under the basket, fouled by Harlow. Good. I'll tell you what, when Falk really decides to run their uh, offense, offense. They, they're really good. They, they look good doing it. I mean, that, that action is hard to stop. That's the third on Harlow, so she's got to be careful. Early in the fourth here. Zatrine good on that one. Zatrine now has 11 points, leading score for the Lady Panthers. Second attempt, looks good, it's in and out. Jama with the rebound. There's Harlow, gets it to Wilson on the timeline. Fullerton blocked by Zatrine. Can she get it back? Not this time. Hayworth coming out of there with it. Fullerton all over her. Wide open three, no good. That's gonna be a run out. It's gonna be a one-on-one. -on -one. Who's gonna win it? She's gonna stop off the board, no good. Fullerton taps it out. Emery Wilson has it. Fullerton on the wing, being guarded by number 11, Moreau. She's the one that Morrow shot that uh, shot on the other end for Falk a moment ago. Claire City up top, getting a screen from Miley Harlow. She'll go against it. Wilson for three, a long one, no good. Hayworth calling that name a lot. She's got, doing a lot of rebounds, a lot of active hands, got some steals. Need some more buckets to fall. She's got five in the game. Laney Richardson gets it to Hayworth. She's trying to find the train, overthrows her, but right into the hand of Moreau. Long or high arching shot. She got it over to Jama. Was no good, just barely. And there's a steal. That's Attaway. She gets it up to Moreau. Now Hayworth working against Claire City. Her shot won't go. Jama with the rebound. Finally come out of there is Fullerton. That's wild, man. Yeah. Both of these teams play so much alike. Fullerton against the train. She wins this time. The train won last time. This time Chloe on the other end. The guard play of Harding Academy is keeping them in the ball game right now. And more than that, helping them be in the lead in the fourth quarter. Falcons got four more ready to come in. They're going to get a timeout from head coach Mo Williams. He's going to get them in. It's a 30. Let's talk through this one. 6.03 to go. I want to talk about Jama. Aka number. <laughs> Jama. I got to look at it to say it right. Akpanudo. There you go. Worry about that camera color, Aaron. You'll be all right. <laughs> so, Akpanudo, she uh, we don't we don't talk about her enough in this tournament. Right. She 
She does so many little deflections. She's constantly just leaping in the air, getting deflections. Other teammates end up getting a steal technically because they come up with the loose ball. She's a pest out there. Yep. Her play isn't talked about enough. We talked about, we interviewed her after their win the other day. She just does so many things, you know, like that. that it, it's, you know, you see Fullerton getting the points. But, you know, Jama gets maybe six, seven, eight here, maybe 10 occasionally, stuff like that. Fullerton kind of gets a lot of the points off of it because she's creating those steals. Claire City gets some points off of it. And watch her a lot on defense. She's really good for this Harding Academy team. She's helping on the trap right here. Attaway with a heady play, throwing it off the knee of Wilson. Going to stay with Falk. Yeah, her athletic ability definitely brings uh, something to the table for Harding Academy and always gives people trouble that play against her, that's for sure. Tough pass. Harlow and company come away with it. It was a three-on-one in the paint that time. They're trying to feed that sophomore, Wilson. Wilson, Emery Wilson this time. Good runner. A little, yeah. You don't see that in her game a whole lot. She likes to hit those threes. Big bucket. They're up five. 38-33. Falk has got to get going here. Sorry, Connie Ross in with four fouls. She'll Good. dump it off Wilson. Used the shoulder, yep. too strong, but fouled. Nice job there. Getting it to the hoop, good decision on the pass, and she wasn't able to finish, but she's able to go to the free throw line. I know they have a style, but we're down to 521 to go. What are your thoughts as a Trine and Wilson in there at the same time? Right. That yeah. is something you could go to, and it would be a major mismatch, kind of like Ponder and Schubert for Bergman. First one good for Wilson. I don't know why I started calling her Wilson. That's Kinley Smith. Be able to get them both. Jama has it now. Kicks it out. Three for Wilson. No good. Now I apologize once again. Kinley Smith. I've been high on that sophomore. So now I got Wilson in my head. I'm telling you. Fullerton. Fout plays so many. So, go ahead, say it. Say what you Fout plays so many up. Uh, so many girls that messed me up there. I apologize. <laughs> That's my fault. Well, what, what I was going to say, Chloe Fullerton. Chloe Fullerton, you know, is another one, kind of like what you was talking about about Aquanudo. Oh yeah, she's just relentless. Another unsung type of hero. Plays just like what you would expect a coach's kid to play like, right? Yeah. Her dad is the, the baseball scorer, coach there. Most nights, really good one. Working against Hayworth, spin move, get across the timeline. She's going to find wow. a cutting Wilson, and she gets it to go. Wilson, two points in a row inside the three-point line. Two buckets in a row, four points. Lefty, back Lefty to five. Pass there. That was a good one right there. 4.36 to go. Hayworth has it on the perimeter. Attaway, knocked around. That ball's loose. That was Fullerton. Got her hand on the ball. Claire City, the recipient. There's Jama. Back to Wilson. Back to Jama. Wide open. That hurts if it goes in. No good, but City with the backside rebound. She's fouled, and yeah. that's Ross. She's out of the game. Oh, goodness. She, she looked pretty straight up to me. I don't know about yeah, it. Fifth know. foul. Yeah, I know. She did. She looked pretty up. Yeah. I, don't I mean, she could have been leaning there. We, we didn't catch it there before she got straight up, you know. Tough play. Yeah, that's a tough, tough one break for sure. there for Falk. She was reaching in and then she went okay. up, so that's but, what they got. Yeah. She definitely was, had her arm down at yeah. first, then she went up at the end right when they were calling a whistle. Tough play though for Falk is they lose one of their one of their good ones. With, they got a lot of girls that have played a lot of minutes this year. Yep. First one was no good. City struggled at the line today. Able to get the second <laughs> one. Pressure starting to mount, I think, here with Falk. Two of four. Six-point lead with four to go. Really need good possessions from here on out. Citrine back in. There's Richardson. That's one of them right there. Yep, she had two threes in the first half. She's got nine now. Three threes in the ball game. Cuts it to three. Jama back up to Fullerton. Look out. She crosses over, gets in the lane. Kick out. City for three. Could have had been the answer, but Jama gets the offensive glass. Wilson in the lane. Can she get three floaters? Oh, my wow, Lord. Wow, wow. Emery Wilson. 
You know, you don't really say I'm just a perimeter player. <laughs> With Harding Academy, you just don't know where it's going to come from. They always they have just so many that that can score. None of them are great scores. Just they can do it. Are you aware? Zatrine has it. 20 foot from the basket as she drives in. Got it to Richardson. And they're going to call uh, it travel. She's kind of yeah. lost the, the handle there. They were trying to set her up for another three. She just made one. Got Falk, full timeout here. Timeout by Coach Mo Williams and Folk. They want to talk. Falk, Falk. they want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't the whole game almost yeah. for doing that. Five point lead for Harding. We'll take a break. We'll be back. I chose a car that would be safe for our family. And when it comes to our financial future, I don't take any chances there either. That's why we bank with Centennial. They give me everything I could want in a bank, from the latest technology to great service. But the biggest thing they give me is confidence. So in a time when there's plenty of things to worry about, my money isn't one of them. back but we will 43 38 316 to go there's an alien in the stands five point game yeah go get that on we did a second ago we we're trying to get y'all's attention uh -huh. on it. <laughs> you guys are it focused on the game or whatever oh right? there he is that's the the falc monster right <laughs> they get it up ahead. And a double dribble on Claire City. It's a big turnover. Coach Garner didn't like it. Jim's starting to fill up Elkins. And Doom yeah, that, could be, that could be Elkins fan base up there. I'm not sure. Uh, a yeah, a lot of purple Some teams. That, yes, that's true. That's true. They got two seconds to get across. They will. Uh-oh, thrown away. We got a jump ball maybe. Yep, eventually get the jump ball call. It's going to be Harding Academy ball. Five point lead for Harding Academy, and they have the ball. We're under three minutes, 2.58 to go. It is crunch time right now for this Falk team that's undefeated and find themselves behind right now. Jama to Fullerton to Wilson. Hayworth on her. Now Fullerton with it. Hayworth still at the top here. Screen from Molly Harlow. Between the leg dribble. She goes to the left side. Fullerton trying to get baseline. Lost it out of bounds. They'll say touched by Falk. I thought she got bumped. I thought they were going to call a foul on Falk. So sometimes that happens. Yeah. You know, we've, we've talked about that where sometimes there's a foul, but the ball goes out of bounds instead of. Calling the foul, they just call it out of bounds, let it be good. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if, is that the right thing to do or not? I don't know. No, neither. It's a tough thing. I mean, fouls end up calling, you know, they, they, they were a bigger deal because they become free throws at some point. Very you know, true. So there, you can think about it that way. Student sections. Getting into this little groove here. You've got, uh, I believe that's, is that Dumas? Yeah, that's the, the Bobcats up there. The basketball girls yep. here today gonna cheer. I think some of them may be up there gonna cheer on the boys tonight. They did it for them last night. Claire City with the ball, getting trapped. She's gonna drive in, finish with the right hand, no good. Off of Zatrine and Attaway runs it down. Here comes Falk, five point game. They're going to get a call on City. And City's getting a few fouls on her. I think that's the third. Let me double check here as they post it. Yeah, third on her. Had one open down there on the block. Yep. They, they had the, the opportunity there. You, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, Olivia Morrow standing down and she's jumping up and down. Hey, 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 no, no. Could have got it to her. We're going to get, uh, I think that's Scoggins. Yep, number 13 in. 
Hardy Academy has got to get it inbounded. 2.09 to go. Falcon full court press here. Zetrine even up here. Zetrine. Now they'll back out. Fullerton to City. City, tough bounce pass down the sideline there. Wilson traps. Ooh, gonna get a foul on Hayworth. Mirror the ball. When you're in a trap like that, mirror. Don't reach. Mirror. Got to, got to, yep. you, you know what I mean? Just yeah. And mirror that basketball. I had a coach once that taught us to say ball, 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 ball the whole time, just act berserk, you know, drives them crazy. Clare City shot, no good. Rebound comes away to Zatrine. Here they come out of there with it. Five points left. Five point lead. Uh oh. Oh, Zatrine loses it right into the hands of Fullerton. Clare City in the front court. Fullerton gets it at the Jama. Taking a little air out of the ball right here with a five point lead. They're getting in to Harlow, back out to Fullerton. Shot clock's at 14. Chloe into the corner for Jama. Shot clock is now down to seven. Fullerton in the lane. She'll take a 16 footer. No good. Harlow with the rebound. Ball's knocked loose. Moreau, Morrow had it. Attaway has it under one minute. They get across the time. Oh, right at 10 seconds. They get across. And Hayward for three. We got a timeout. I think he thought he was, I think he was trying to get the timeout before they got the 10 second call, possibly. So, so they'll go to timeout here. We'll, we'll take a quick break and we'll come back in right after this. Sales and Desart. The name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desart. So, here's the thing about where we're at right now in the ball game. The style of play that Falk plays has got to play in a factor this last 53.2. Yeah, get into the legs, got, hopefully. They've, well, they've got, to, they've got to be able to turn Harding Academy over right. with and, that and get scores. And they're fresher. They ought to be able to go a lot harder. You know, basically, Harding Academy's only gone about eight deep, and they ain't been in long. Mostly been the five starters most of the night. Hey, we're for three. Zatrine that tips it out. Oh, Jama did wow. her thing, the thing she does where she just tips it up ahead. Fullerton, the run out. That is big. Talked about Jama tipping the ball out when she knew her, or in this case, Fullerton, were going to run it down. She did that just then. Gives them a seven-point lead. Wow. That's a full timeout by Rusty Garner over yep. there. Let's take one with them. We'll be back. We're going to get the rest of this one and find out what's going to happen here. We'll be back right after this. It comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Stinging it. Big possession on that last possession right there. And, and as you have said, Jama Akpanudo made a huge play right there that won't show up in the scorebook. That's right. Kind of a tip out. They'll probably give Fullerton the steal on it. Because she ran down a loose ball and no one had a clear possession. Big three attempt there from Morrow. No good. They get the offensive board. It's no good. Mm -hmm. And Mar Miley Harlow, another one we don't talk about yep. enough. She's got a bunch of big rebounds against girls like Zatrine and Smith. There's just not enough time. Three fouls got on a the foul. Field. Ten seconds. That's going to be it. Yep. Yep. Well, you got to give Falk a lot of credit. The season that they've had, 36-0 coming into this one. Uh, 
you know, unfortunately, that undefeated streak is going to come to an end here. Fullerton with the ball inside the free throw line there. She's fouled. Coach Garner's telling yeah. his kids Inbound to get back. Inbound to the backcourt here. No reason not to. Waste some clock. Well, like, they're going to shoot free throws. Yeah. I keep forgetting about the five fouls. So they're going to shoot free throws. He's just telling them we don't need you to get down here. Just let them rebound it if she misses and make them go to length of the court. Don't foul them. You know, no chance of that. Putting them on a the line. 1.5K devices right now. Fullerton free throw no good. Undefeated Falk. Another great year for them. Last shot here. Attaway will take a three. It's good. She knocks it down. But too little, too late. The Harding Academy Lady Wildcats are going to take down the Falk Lady Panthers, and you see a lot of them over there. It's an emotional time. Senior Paige Attaway hit that last shot of her career yeah. just in. Mallory Scoggins, another senior. Connie Ross got fouled out in this one. And Nayla Zatrine, another senior, also done with their careers at Falk. Let me see if I got anybody else on the bench I can name here real quickly. I think that is all of them. Austin Wright, one more on there on the, on the roster we have. Last game as a Lady Panther. They had a great run here, 37, what was it, 36 in a row before this one, 36 and one to finish the year. Hoping to get two more, or three more actually. We're gonna take a break. We'll come back. We're gonna have our Petrus Farm and Grill post game show here with the winning team, Harding Academy. We'll have them up here. We'll get you the final stats. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc, a name you've come to know, is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people, and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. We all love to eat. Whether discussing our daily meals or our special holidays, family gatherings, and even tailgating celebrations, Petrus Farm and Grill, located in central Arkansas, can help elevate your experiences. Petrus Farm and Grill has over 10 great seasonings and two delicious barbecue sauces to choose from. Use our special blends alone or feel free to mix and match to your own delight. Find our sauces and seasonings online at PetrusFarmGrill.com. There you can also find one of our great dealers in communities near you.
We're rolling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've got Chloe Fullerton, Jama Ocpenudo, yeah. and Coach. I messed it up all game. No, so you don't, great, don't get man. too excited uh -huh. there. I got that one right. But And uh, Coach Rusty Garner. Nobody thought y'all were going to win this. I was in the – I'm going to tell you right now. I haven't told anybody this. I haven't shared it. I was in the hospitality room about three hours ago, and there was a bunch of media people in there and coaches, and I don't know who all they were. And they were like, ah, these ought to be some good games today. And they were like, oh, Falcons got that one easy. You know, I heard that, you know, and I was like, well, we, yeah, you know, I don't know, because I've seen this team, and I know they're playing with their heads on, on fire right now. Well, I'll and tell you, we, showed it. we heard that too. Yeah, and we told them in did. the locker room yesterday that, you know, everybody that thinks you're going to win tomorrow is in this room. And, and right. I mean, I'm, I'm going to – yeah, I know. It's a tough thing. If I start talking um, about how proud I am, I know, I know. I ain't going to last very long. That's awesome, man. Love to see the emotion there from your head coach. I know y'all love that. You just took down a team that was 36-0, tr trying to go undefeated. A huge victory. I mean, that, that team's got a lot of talent. We didn't bring her up here, but Molly Harlow had some big plays down the stretch there, getting yeah. the ball away from Zatrine and Smith. Chloe Fullerton. Jama, uh, we talked about it last night too, but that play there kind of sealed it where she tipped it out, you run it down and got the got the bucket. And uh, I mean, wow, just wow, oh wow. Tell me how you're feeling right now knowing you're moving on here to the uh, semifinals. I mean, we really, really wanted it. I mean, we've been thinking about it 24-7, yeah. all day yesterday, all, all this afternoon. I mean, we really wanted it, it feels really, really good. We feel pretty confident, so. Yes, ma'am. Jama, how are you feeling right now knowing you're going to the semis? Uh, it feels amazing. Like, we didn't get this far last year. And to come this far, like, with a different team and playing different people and against right. a team with such a good record and such good players, it was really fun to win that one. Y'all got a great mix of some younger girls, you know, with uh, Claire City, a sophomore, Molly Harlow, Crimson Fager does so much off the bench. Your other girls had to get a little bit more minutes today maybe to kind of help with the – you know, they're trying to wear you out. That's part of their game plan. Um, but well, a great let me match, say, let two me seniors. Say, Go ahead, It's going to get lost, but you're talking about everybody contributing. Mackenzie Bird hit a yeah. three there in the third quarter. It was enormous. Those right. big minutes from her. And I need to say this because somebody needs to, but Mo Williams has done an unbelievable job there at Falk. I know yes. what I know what they were when they started. Oh, he yeah. got them into state tournaments. I mean, I don't know many people have won 36 times in a row. And so all right. the credit to those guys, you know, they, they earned that record. Um, and they're a really good basketball team, and we were, we were fortunate to get that one today. But I said it yesterday, man, I'll, I'll take these two against anybody. And I'm, I'm glad we do it at least one more time. That's right. Uh, big, I got some extra stats here. Claire City had 10 rebounds, two assists, three steals. Fullerton had four steals, two assists, two rebounds. Got three steals for Jama, two assists, one rebound. Harlow had five rebounds, two assists, two steals to go with all their points. Um, I mean, I've got 15 for Emery Wilson, who had a huge she night is, as well. Yeah. Three floaters in the second <laughs> half. I just thought she was a three-point shooter for the most well, part. Well, she, she's, she's evolved her game because she's been, a, she's been a shooter forever, and people are always flying at her, and her ability to get yeah. around and get to the paint. Chloe does the same thing. If she can't get it off, uh, she'll she'll head fake and get to the middle of the paint, and that makes, you talk, that makes you hard to guard. Are you on the same side as Lamar Salem? You played a winner yes. of that? Yes. Okay. So that's the, that's, both of them played in state last year, so you got your hands full moving forward. Kind of get a game plan set up for that and find out who's going to win that one later on tonight here at 7 o'clock. Um, congratulations, guys. I appreciate y'all coming up here and talking to us. Um, unbelievable. Everybody's talking about the press of, of Falk and the press of Harding Academy ended up on top today. Y'all are relentless. Good job, girls. Thank I appreciate you. So much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. I appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. Go, Cat. Switch it already. Oh, good job. Thank you, sir. All right, we're going to finish this one up. A few more points here. Uh, Jama had four points, 13 for Fullerton. I think I got all them. Mackenzie Bird, three, one for Floyd, one for Fager. And that rounds out Harding Academy, nine for Claire. Well, Someone said 10. We, I had, no, no, that was rebounds. 10 rebounds for her. She almost had a double-double. Nine points. And over for Falk, nine points for Laney Richardson today. 3-3-7 for Kinley Smith. 11 for Zatrine. 
three for Monroe, three for Palmer, five for Hayworth, and three for Paige Attaway. And additional stats for them, Attaway had three assists, two steals, and a rebound. Hayworth had two steals, a block, two rebounds, and, a st and uh, maybe three steals there. And Bella Monroe, three assists, two rebounds, and two steals. But Falk not able to move on in this one. Harding Academy with a huge victory and upset by most people. They move on. They're going to play the winner of Salem and Lamar. We're fixing to get a good one here in the boys' action. The host team, Elkins, taking on Dumas. It's going to be fun. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. We're actually going to go to a new stream, and we got the sponsors on the screen one more time. Thank you for everything they have done for us. Sarah Bailey, CPA, Roy's Pawn Shop, Sue and Carol's Restaurant in Texarkana, Arkansas, Springbank. Lo Landing. Landing yes. and Jerry's General Store and also yeah. Slumber and Company. Yeah, and we thank Sue and Carol's Restaurant. And it, we understand it's not Texarkana. Yeah. <laughs> but here know. we are. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that. Yeah, we, we're, we apologize about that. All right, thank you all. And big big thank you to Roy's Pawn Shop for the silver sponsorship there. Yep, that's it.